What's up guys? So, Family Medicine Clinic called me the other day about my allergy test results. Jumping right into this video, just so you know. Results to the allergy test. She's like, okay, yeah, I have your test results back. Um, you are highly, severely allergic to dust mites. I was like, oh, okay, okay. I was like, aren't all humans allergic to dust mites? She was like, uh, yes ma'am, that's right. I was like, okay. <laughs> What's up fam? It's Friday, April 27th. Yeah, it's April. Okay, almost May. I'm vlogging today. Yeah, decided to do a full vlog for you guys. Haven't done one in a while. It's 6.16 in the morning and I actually don't have an early morning client today. Dear, dear God, I obviously, this is my hair today. I don't have an early morning client today so I'm taking my time and um, getting to the gym later. I actually don't even have to work out today but Ashton does so I'm gonna go and just do some like like active recovery type things, so like stretching. Um, I'm gonna do some apps, because we could do apps anytime, right? I mean, I don't have any, but like they're still there, so. Abs, and then I'll probably hit up like three rounds of plyos, just to kind of like tune up the legs. I'm not really, I'm gonna talk about my training in this video, possibly later on too, because that's totally different now too. I have different goals, different priorities, really just trying to get healthy, so. Let's go along for the day. All right, guys, so I did three rounds of plyos, three exercises, just enough to kind of like give my legs a nice little burn. I'm basically not lifting weights at all, um, especially in my legs. I just, I'm really trying to give my body the rest and recovery that it needs because it essentially that's like what's going to help recover um, and reset my hormones and bring them balanced faster. It could take years, guys, and I cannot be like this for years. I feel like shit and I can't wait to get out of this mode. So, um, just getting in there, getting a little blood flowing, doing some abs. I've been focusing on abs even though I don't really have any. Ooh, this move right here. This is why I'm doing the commentary. If you haven't tried active planks, holy crap. It's basically just like get in a plank position and then kind of use your core and bring your self into like like you're almost going to do like a crunch in an ab and in in a plank or whatever. Whatever that. Yeah. Do it, it is fire. I swear you will die. Um, I also did some reverse crunches coming up after this, and I like to do these nice and slow and controlled. Actually, you know what? I started with the candlestick one, so I went straight up, and then I burned out at the end with re reverse crunches. I did all of these exercises for three sets. Can you hear Allie growling? Like, story of my life. My next video, I will go more in depth about um, my specific routines, um, maybe show you guys some of the workouts and how the steps that I'm taking essentially to get my health in check with nutrition, training, and all that jazz. So stay tuned, keep watching, and I will catch you guys in the next clip. And we just got to work. The gym. We still don't have our front sign. This sign's gonna stay temporarily, but we'll be getting a new sign for the front here shortly. We ordered it like six weeks ago, but it hasn't come yet. So hopefully that comes soon. You gonna struggle there? Struggle us? He can't get out of the car. So Jade went to the vet a couple weeks ago and she had only gained, I got her and she was 1.4 pounds. And that's what she was when she first went to the vet. Then three weeks later, exactly three weeks later, we went back and she was 1.8 pounds. They put her on gainer food because they're like, she seems healthy, she seems great, but just in case, she's a puppy. So I feed her hard food, the door's open. So I end up feeding her hard food, her old hard food, so she's still kind of like used to it. And then this nasty canned food, which smells like dog food. Ugh, it's so gross. But she's actually eating a lot more now and hopefully she looks like, this time around, she looks like she actually gained some size. And then she's been on this for like almost two weeks now. Two weeks this weekend. So we'll see. I'm gonna probably put her on the scale at home. It's gonna be fucking hilarious. But she's pretty excited about her food now. You hungries? You hungries? Food in your belly. I make a song. Food in your belly. Food in the belly. You hungries? Time for some foods? You ready to eat some foods? Yummy, yummy. Food in the belly. Go potty. She is so potty trained, you guys. So potty trained. You like, you, you like this little section I made? Thumbs up if you like this. Thumbs up. Comment below, let me know. Um, I left the tags on it because I wasn't sure if I was keeping it or not, but I think it helps, let's see, make the office 
I got a ton of stuff on my desk, but a little more complete. Like that stuff is stuff I have to return. I'm using shit on my office, so it's kind of messy. But look, she's eating her food. Yay! All right. All right, so one of the things that many of y'all may not know, and because I don't really talk about it, my work life so much, is that I own a gym. So I spend my days at the gym doing gym things. What do gym owners do? It's not that exciting. But first thing, one of the things, I have a huge to-do list. One of the things on my to-do list is to get some of the seats reupholstered um, for the equipment. So I'll show you, like some of them are really bad. Um, they've recently gotten really bad, so I'm working on getting quotes for those. And then we have to drop them off, wait for them to get done, which will probably take a few days, and then put them back on. So let me show you what we got. We'll work with it. Number one, these guys here need to be reupholstered. And our leg press is really bad. It's like destroyed. So this whole thing needs to be completely reupholstered. So I've been reading this new book, which I will tell you guys about later on, but it's called Eat to Live. And basically, he's kind of like anti-animal foods and products and things like that, which is fine. Um, I haven't, I've de definitely decreased my my consumption of them, um, merely because I was kind of like over it. Like I found myself like even sometimes just like throwing away my food because I just, oh, the thought of eating turkey and chicken kind of made me want to gag. I've been eating these ginormous veggie salad things whoop, uh, for lunch. So it's a big bowl. Sometimes I'll do grilled zucchini. Um, right now I have shredded lettuce. I've got asparagus. I did put chicken in this one. I don't. I haven't. I haven't done it all week actually. So this is the first time I put protein in, just because I had some leftover chicken. There's some chickpeas in there. Hummus, tomatoes. I'm gonna heat that up, and that's gonna be my lunch. I'm also super addicted to the Trader Joe's tea. Like I bring it in this ginormous bottle and I drink one a day. This blueberry pomegranate tea. It's unsweetened and I put two stevias in this container and it's perfect. Perfect. And they're like a dollar so pretty cool. So we have this really cool ad machine that we got fairly recently and I'm going to film myself doing it. A lot of people I know they walk by it and they're really scared and they don't know how to use it. Hopefully you can hear me set on my mic on my camera. Cool. Let's check it out. Suck it up. So 60 more seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Why? This is like gym drama. It's, illegal. it's not illegal. You have to have you sign a consent. Wait, let's show you what it is. Oh. Oh, what a great idea. Young gentleman. Maybe like... What do you do? Um, well, I'm not saying you didn't. Talk! Oh my god, just talk. Okay, well he... he Bye y'all! Have a good day! And then um, he, he saw me, so then he went back to sign in with his with a card. Okay. But it didn't So then we looked. Oh, okay, I got you. And I thought I had the list. <laughs> this is all good. I was like, I told, I told Ash, I was like, oh, Kat, oh, this is all time. Dude. I've never seen her do it though. Yeah. I thought he did though. I told him. Yeah. Meeting time. Yay. Oh, cool. Yay. 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 Yay.
What's up guys? It is Saturday, pretty early on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, it's like 7.20. Um, Jade has her first haircut appointment today, so I'm pretty excited about that. She's getting so big, guys. Like, I can't even handle it. I'm kind of slightly sad. She might be like over the two pound mark now. Look at this. Look at this little creature. Oh, oh you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute, huh? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna chop this off and get her, get her looking cute. Poodle gets so wild looking. Mm -hmm. Love you. So that'd be fun to see. I'll show you a before. Before. Oh, she's so beautiful. And we'll show you an after. I didn't really like finish vlogging yesterday. We got home really late. It was like seven, no, like 6.30 when we got home. Which is actually, I probably get home that late like once or twice a week from the gym. Um, so I like to stay late just a couple times a week, but because we live so far away, I don't do it regularly because it's an hour drive back, so. Um, yesterday I had to work late and then we also had a sales meeting um, so I stayed for a little bit of that and then I left after that. Usually I'm home from the gym like by two or three. Right now I'm gonna do my weekly check-in with you guys and kind of let you know how everything's going. Um, last week's video that I posted up, I just want to say thank you to everyone for all of like the amazing comments. Like I think reading them made me feel even like so much better. Um, and even just like posting up the video because it felt like I'm just trying to like always put this like positive like spin on the whole thing that's going on with me and stuff but in all reality I don't feel that way I'm just like trying to be positive to motivate other people and like hopefully in return motivate myself and like keep me from like I don't know jumping off a bridge or something okay dramatic I know I told you guys I would tell you about my workout split basically I told my coach last week I was like I don't want to grow muscle I don't want to like I just I just need to focus on like staying tight, maintaining what I have, but I don't want to get any bigger. You know, because when you're when you're lifting heavy and things like that, you have like more inflammation because you know your muscles are breaking down and stuff. And I just I'm tired of feeling super fluffy. Like I just can't keep adding on to that stuff. I need my body to like rest. So my workouts are completely different. I'm barely lifting weights, and when I lift weights, it's like super lightweight for like 20 reps. I'm doing two hit sessions a week and three metabolic sessions, and then I'm also doing yoga like twice a week, one to two times a week. I should be doing it twice, but I really only do it like once. <laughs> Here's a fun thing. I finally got my thyroid test back. So I did the first thyroid test, but I was taking my medication. So my T3 levels were extremely high. Um, and doctor said, okay, fine, you're good. Don't worry about it. I'm like, don't you wanna see like what my real numbers are? So I take off the pill for like five days. I go in and take my thyroid test and the, the test is like, I mean, it's disgusting. I like should be a dead body. Like it's really, really bad. I haven't talked to that particular doctor yet, but I have like other doctor friends and I sent them the, the, the results and they were like, um, like this is really bad. <laughs> They're like, you need to go see like an endocrinologist, which I have not seen yet. I'm really messed up, like really messed up. <laughs> What's also gotten really, really bad, I would say like probably the past two, and a half weeks has gotten dramatically worse, but for the past two months I've noticed that like I just keep getting like this ridiculous bloating like towards the middle of the day to the end of the day. So like as I eat food, I get more and more bloated every single day or like throughout the day. It's led me to severely under eat. Like I just get to a point where I'm like, I'm so full and my stomach hurts so bad and like, I just like, it hurts. It hurts so bad, like I can't eat. I didn't eat dinner once this week because I just couldn't. Like my stomach was so full and I just laid on the couch with like a heating pad. Like that's how bad it hurts. I recently started reading this book, Eat to Live. Um, so it's it'll totally change your perspective on food and I really, I read it in like a day and a half, okay? I started incorporating a lot more fruits and vegetables into my diet because I really hadn't been. Uh, my macros are so low that I was like, oh, I don't wanna eat that, like I'd rather eat like something that's like, like rice and potatoes and things that are gonna fill me up. Tons and tons and tons of meat, which I was like so over, like I just couldn't eat any more meat. Last week, I just, this last week, I've been obsessed with eating fruits and vegetables. vegetables. So I know that like the fiber difference there is like incredibly huge. However, I was still feeling really bloated before, so I thought that like, okay, if I go into like switch over and eat these more nutrient dense foods and have even more fiber, maybe that'll help with my bloating. Kind of been the same. I would say yesterday was the only day that I experienced just a little bit less bloating, but I was still too bloated to eat dinner. And I wake up in the morning even still feeling like the bloating has gone down, but I still feel like really full. And my weight, my weight is just creeping up. 
and I hit another super high weigh in this week, so I don't know. Um, I didn't even check in with my coach because I was like, after I had that really high weight, and I was like, I just can't keep weighing myself. Like, I need a break. It's just been like really, really uncomfortable. Like, it's not just about the number on the scale at this point. Like, I just don't feel good. Because if I weighed what I weigh now and I felt like good in my own body and like whatever, who cares, right? But that's not the case. Like, I feel like crap. And it's like really starting to affect everything. Like, you know, Ashton kind of gets mad at me because like I talk about it and you know, like I don't, I don't really have anything to wear. I don't have like, I don't want to go out. I don't want to see people. Like, I don't want to see people that haven't seen me in a while. They're going to think that like, and I know that they do. People told me, people have, like, people are starting to make comments about it. And that's like, what's the worst and the hardest part about it is that like, even people, people that I don't know, you know, making comments about like, oh my God, your butt is like so big. And I'm like, outside I'm like, ha ah, And inside I'm like, bawling my eyes out. I'm like, shut up. Like, can I just slap you, beat you with a bat? Ugh. And then like people, you know, are like, oh, I've noticed you put on some pounds. And I'm like, do you say that? Are you supposed to say that? Like, why would you say that to me? And I'm trying so hard to like be really positive and like, yes. And it's just really, really difficult, guys. This week I kind of broke down. I haven't wanted to, like I don't have clothes that fits me. Like nothing fits me. I was wearing like two pairs of leggings that barely fit me. And I felt just like a stuffed sausage in them. So I went to Lulu and I like, I will be posting up in another video a Lulu haul, whatever, one up a size, bought some leggings and a couple things, and some retail therapy essentially, and I hadn't wanted to do that because I felt like I was giving in to like the weight and being like, okay, I'm gonna accept this weight, you know? I'm not gonna accept the weight. There's something else wrong with me and who knows how long it's gonna be. So that's where I'm at right now. Zero progress this week. But I'm still eating, like, I'm taking a lot of what I read in this book, which is He's actually really against eating like animal products or at least like limiting them down because, and it makes a lot of sense. You don't have to read the book. But I'm by no means gonna become a vegetarian because I'll eat a steak like all my life. You can get protein from so many other sources. Like you don't even understand. I was still, even when I wasn't eating like meat or there was like three days there that I didn't eat any because I was like, oh thank God I'm not eating chicken. You know, like let me take a break. I was still getting like 80 to 100, no 80 to 90 grams of protein by eating like tons of beans. Um, I was eating like wraps that were like high in protein, just like things like that. Like you don't realize how much protein you're actually, you can consume without eating meat. I'm not gonna be a vegetarian. I can do like a vegetarian full day of eating, maybe even like a full week of eating. I like steak and I like chicken, just not right now. That is my weekly check-in with you guys. I feel like for me, I'd like to do like two to three videos a week, but logically speaking, if I'm being 100% honest, a weekly check-in is gonna be the way it's gonna go. So, wow, I've been talking for 12 minutes. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Make sure to thumbs up if you liked it, and leave your comments down below. Like, I love it when y'all like give me your feedback. I go through and I read them, and I, I will like, I read every single one of them, and I try to respond to most of them, but I always, always, always read them and at least love them. Okay, bye. Thank you guys for watching. See y'all next time. Bye. Hey.